Hello? Can you guys hear me? Oh yeah, you guys should be able to. on oh here we go now it's working is it working now oh it might be working now I don't know. all right so like i said um and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here uh if you guys know photoshop shop kind of well i've got my layers each uh group is its own panel so uh, that way it keeps the workflow easy for me but we're going to start painting i'm going to start adding in the red and the green um in this mask, there's some red there, and there's going to be some, I said green, I meant yellow. We're going to bring the yellow out just to highlight his mask a bit and make it more 3D. And uh, yeah, but let me, sorry, I got a new system here, so I'm trying to figure out how how I'm, how I'm doing it. I, I, I'm now streaming to like, uh, like several things at the same time. Here we go. Okay, cool. So, but I think we're good now. Yes, we're good now. So I'm just going to get to it. Um, so I'm going to get my wand. I'm going to select the green. This is just how I do it. I found it's an easy way to do it. So in this next layer, you can't see it, but when I turn it off and on, this off and on, just the green is attached. I'm going to make a layer above it, link it to just the green color. And now here, you guys can see I'm, I'm grabbed a red. Uh, whenever I draw inside the green, the red will show. I want to get that one going. Um, so yeah, whenever I draw inside the green, the red shows up. And I have uh, pen pressure sensitivity on, and I got a little bit of an airbrush going. I found the airbrush gets me more the consistency that I want. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> But uh, it's, been a, it's been a day for me, so I just figured I'd get on late night, you know. I know sometimes that's fun. Here we go. Yeah, so, um, yeah, how's your night going? Hope you all doing well. Uh, let me grab the yellow now. So now we're going to go here. We're going to add some yellow highlights. We're just going to bring out his schnoz just a little bit, because that's what I like to call the nose. I'll probably never call the nose the nose. I'll probably call it the schnoz for the rest of my life. Um, here, we're going to go a little bigger. I do like that, though. I like the edge, catching the edges. Yeah, let's catch the edges with it. 
And then same deal. We'll catch the edges, but let's try it. I'm going to make a new layer because I'm going to kind of just fuck around. So I want to make sure when I'm fucking around, I'm not really screwing up my own work. Um, there we go. So let's see here. I'm thinking of blue to contrast with that yellow. So I'm going to go lighter, almost greenish blue. We'll throw it in on the edge over here. And if you can hear me, please let me know. I just, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Oh, here we'll go back one. We're going to erase that. As much as I like that, we'll keep it a little bit more coherent and keep it to the edge there. Yeah, you see, that makes it. Ooh, I like that. We'll just throw a tad bit of the red here. We'll throw a tad bit of the blue here. Edge it out just a tiny bit. Cool. Bring that edge here. Bring out the yellow just a little bit. Bring that source out. So we've got kind of like a yellow light source here and a blue secondary it's kind of the idea oh, i'm gonna go back to that red we're gonna grab the red but we're gonna bring my opacity down a little bit so now even if i'm pressing full strength it'll just go at 53 percent so it's kind of like limited now um i want a red hue on this little bridge bump type thing if i go too red it takes away your uh, look from here, but that's not quite red enough. There we go. You see the red, the red really pops with that now. So I'm just doing some highlights and stuff. Um, but uh, I will go in with shadows afterwards. Let's grab the blue again. Bring the blue through over here on this side. Now it might be too much. I don't want the blue to be as strong. Again, I kind of want it to be secondary. A little less focused, but we'll still bring that yellow in. Um, not yellow. I don't know my colors anymore. I'll bring in the red. Oh. I'm going to hold down. Tap it with two hands for this one. Which is an awkward angle, so it wants to slide on me. I don't want that to happen there we go that's better Ooh. oh this dude's gonna look fresh i can uh, i can tell you that already all right so now let's go ahead and do this lower part of the shot you guys like it give it a like give it a share you know whatever you want you know i'm just uh getting these late night vibes out Thank you guys for kicking it with me. I always appreciate it. That was looking dope. Let's get a little bit of the blue again. I'm still at 72. Usually I work at 100% opacity, but you now this is working for me right now. So just, I can be a little bit, little bit riskier with what I'm trying because it's a lower opacity. So it won't punish me as much when what I'm trying backfires because that happens. That happens a lot because it's Photoshop. I take more of these risks. Because you can just hit two buttons to delete work, where as opposed to like <laughs> my real art stuff, uh, it uh, if I make a mistake with real paint, dude, that's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna bring this new, I made a new layer. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the top. I'm gonna turn it to multiply. Uh, the reason being is I'm gonna do my shadows on his mask now. Uh, my shadows go with this per kind of brownish light brownish or it's an orange hued brown but it's going to give me that kind of gray that i was hoping for i'm going for more of a neutral shadow because i got this blue reflection here yeah that works a little bit darker here but uh, so we're going to darken in his gas mask there but then we'll pop in these reflective colors here on the edges after i finish Throwing this out. Man, it has been a minute since I have colored digitally, and I'll be honest, it feels good. Like, this is definitely the most hour, like, for any tool 
especially when it comes to coloring. Digital is what I've put in the most hours with, so I feel most confident, like comfortable with it. I've been really trying to like spread my wings recently and build a bunch of new skills, but when you get to go back to your your OG, your homeboy, it always feels nice. <laughs> All right. Um, it's looking good. I'm going to hit it just a slight bit of shadow. I don't want to overpopulate it now with shadows, you know? Leash. Case in point. <laughs> you kind of get what I'm saying, what I'm trying to get to. Oh, here. Let's just cut in this. Let's, I, I, I'm going big objects to small objects, so I'm just trying to cut in all the... I'm doing hand gestures right now. You can't see the hand gestures, but I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna cut in all the major, major hard stuff, like kind of where the edges of it are. And he should have a bridge right there, and that's one thing I forgot. I remembered. I was like, when I go through and paint this, I need to remember to add in a bridge right here. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I didn't think I was gonna remember that. <laughs> but here we are. So, Alright, gotta go two hand Tom here. <laughs> the angle. There we go. When I have to be super picky with the angle, I have to go like two handed on the tablet so it doesn't slide at all. And to make sure it stays like in its Y, like correct layout in, com in, in relation to the computer screen. So, like, if the edge of your tablet is like this and the computer is like that. It's going to throw it off. It's going to change your X and Y axis. So you want to make sure the, 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 where it's positioned. It's kind of like a Wii, Wii remote, if you think about it, like how they uh, calibrate it. I never thought about it, but that's a good way to kind of explain it. A uh, very similar kind of technology, I'd say. Just when it comes to figuring out where it is in orientation to everything. Yeah, I like that. I want to go a little bit heavier here, so let's actually drop down. Let's grab this guy a bit. Throw it a little harsher. Yeah, we'll go a little bit harsher here. Oh, dope. So the uh, uh, here we're gonna actually grab a different one. Uh, the the pens and brushes I usually use are default or. Uh, I bought like the Kyle T. Webster uh, brush, mega brush pack. If you want like good illustrator or like almost any type of brush uh, for Photoshop, Kyle T. Webster, he does some great stuff. And I think he does it on different systems too. But uh, what I'm going to go to is, oh, we're going to go to our ink box. We're going to go to Comic Letterer. Uh, I don't know why, but I really like this one. It gives me good texture. So you guys can see here, it kind of gives like a watercolor texture. Let me lay it in. Of course it doesn't do it when I do it, when I try. Here. You can, it, it's very watercolory in its application of how you can lay it down. And I really, really like that. I like having more of like a, when the reader looks at it, it's almost like a, is that a, was that digitally or traditionally colored because if you can do that you're doing digital right but if, if you if you if you put out your comic and audience goes mm, that's definitely digitally colored it kind of can be a knock against you so you, if you're going to digitally color it make sure it's it's top notch man because uh, in what again i don't mean to bash on some people but i think what really caused that initial bias was like when we went to when digital started, just like any new technology, it kind of sucked, but there were people innovating it even when it started, like Rich Corbin. But then as it became popularized and uh, kind of became the norm, you got a lot of colorists who just came in and really treated it like a job. And if you look at a lot of those, the colorists, lighting choices, completely clash and change with like the inks 
And you also have to think, like, fuck, man. The inker could have changed, like, the scene and the lighting of what the pencils had. So it's when it gets into that more, like, factory-style pro- uh, production, you, you, you run into some of those issues. So do your own stuff is what I say. <laughs> like, do your own thing. But it, it, it's only when you're coloring your own stuff can you kind of get these decisions. Ooh, I like that. I like how that white kind of, especially with the watercolor effect, pops out. That is dope. Let me it out here. We'll get a little bigger. Nice. So that, that just makes them pop a little bit more. Yeah, I was a little happy on that. So it makes them pop a bit more. I like that. Let's see if we can get maybe like a deep blue. Would deeper blue pop better? What about, I like that. Like I definitely kind of like a deeper blue. Let's see here. Let's just play around with this. Again, so much of this coloring is playing around. Like I come alive when I get to do the digital coloring because like I said, I get to I get to kind of try out these things that would be so punishing if I were doing uh, traditional coloring methods. That's good. I like that. I don't want to mess with that too. Much. I keep doing hand gestures. Like I'm so used to filming because we've been doing the inking videos for so long. I'm used to talking with my hands, but you can't see my hands at all anymore. So I'm just kind of waving in the air like a lunatic. <laughs> but I like that for the green. I think we're going to leave the green. We're going to go ahead and add some highlights to his costume. I'm not going to get too dark with shadows because his base color is already. Again, we're just going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to link all the other layers for this hood and costume to this layer. Uh, but yeah, let's throw some lights on it because the base color is so dark. Uh, I'm going to start off kind of medium. I'm not going to go super hard on the highlights. Um, I do know I want to go pretty light on these highlights though. Give it a good contrast. Let's see how that works. Uh, nah, too much. <laughs> I'm just kind of, I'm feeling them out right now. I like, well, I guess I like that apparently. Okay. We'll go back and throw a little bit more of those lights in on the edge. Eh, maybe just more calmer with our highlights. That might go well. Kind of like that. All right, let's see here. Definitely throwing it here. So I'm thinking we're going to add in the white. You kind of see, you get more of the watercolor effect I was talking about there just to kind of demonstrate. But let me go back. We're going to make that just a little bit tighter. Again, it's so easy. I love that you can just erase. I've been working so traditional recently, so just control Z to undo everything is so nice. <laughs> I'll take it when I can get it, man. Don't use it as a crutch, like for sure, but to go from other less forgiving materials back to that is a breath of fresh air. It makes you really appreciate it when you get it. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. Zoom out a little bit. Cool. So I'm, I'm going to go through here. We're probably going to work a little further away. I just don't want to get too close to it. Work too close for too long. Because that will... I'll lose the overall effect I was trying to go for. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely need lightness up here, you know what I'm saying? I inked it an interesting way, so I'm kind of just looking at the inks and figuring out how can I splay in some light here while respecting the dark. I like that. That's not bad. That's cool. That works. That works. I like that. That's going with what I'm aiming for for sure but we'll just get uh let's get a little more purplish to kind of bounce off the blues as well and like i said we'll get some yellow 
back on this side too. I like that. Yeah. I think we're getting closer to something now, yeah? Word. All right, so let's gear up. We're going to go super light again. I want to cut out his hood a bit, bring it more to the foreground. And they're harsher whites, but they're less, uh, they're not, they're uh, taking up less visual space, like they're thin strips of more concentrated color. Dude, that's sick. I like that. We'll keep, we'll keep this. I don't want to noodle too much in there. Let's go new layer because I'm going to try this yellow up in here. But we'll probably do an overlay. So I'm going to grab a new brush. I'm going to go for the soft round brush. It's just like a, just like that. That will work though. So again, I'm going to link it, which just brings it to the skin that we're working on. That is what I'm talking about. Way more 3D. So sweet. Let's go ahead. Um, here, we're going to combine this because we're going to play with this a little bit. Let's go ahead. We're going to combine the mask. So all these layers are now the mask. So again, we had just the flat. And then that's just throwing in some shape over it. I like that. That works for me. Um, and then again, same thing. We'll go through here. Let's go pow. Chappelle. Let's merge these layers. So now these are all in one layer. So we're going to unhide that again. Let's just see what I'm going to adjust this a bit. I kind of like that more. I like that way more. And it kind of switches it too. That's cool. Let's go with that instead. I'm just going to hit that up a little bit better. Let's grab this. Pull that soft round brush in again. Bring down the opacity so it'll find a nice, nice medium. And then we'll take this color again, edge it in, just edge it. Well, we got a little bit, got to get our opacity up again. Oh, <laughs> all right, again, link it. The link is just kind of like a mask. You can either link or mask. I just, I feel like linking the layers works better. Here, we're just gonna undo all that. Here we go. Okay. That works. Don't touch it. Don't fuck up more. We're gonna leave that. Now let's go ahead and add a background into the red. I'm not gonna go super background details with this. I think I'm gonna keep it more nice and regular. And I think we're gonna digitally switch up these two panels as well. I think that'll go well. Yeah, here. So, again, pulling out, grabbing it, pulling that color out. All right, so we're going to go with the black. We're just going to do some streaks in like this, kind of look like a, what? Airbrush, just kind of throwing some shit. I'm not, uh, not trying to make shapes, just kind of being more... What is it? Abstract pop art with it, but give it more of a feel. So I'm going for more of a vibe than a look as we do the background. That's cool. I'll take that. Now I just gotta do something cool on this side, not fuck it up. It's close, it's close. I know what I want. Cool. Cutting out that way a little bit so we can give you more of that vibe that's still pushing you this way. You know, even though, uh, pushing you to the right, even though we don't have any dialogue. To do that. Oh. Ooh, that is fresh, man. That is really fresh. I like that. 
Let's do this. We're going to play with his eyes just a little bit. So I've got this panel. Um, I'm going to grab this guy. So I'm going to pull in all of this, all of this. So I'm grabbing. Oh, all right. It's okay. Here, let me. We're going to grab our lasso again. Going just to the normal roundup lasso. There we go. Just make sure I get everything. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. That wasn't too difficult. Didn't, didn't lose too much time on that. We're going to go to the highest panel, so my line art. We're going to go shift, copy everything, paste. So now, again, it doesn't look like it changed, but if, uh, you'll see what we're going to do. We're going to go here. We're going to transform this eye area a little bit. But I don't want to move his hood because I like where that hood is. Let's go ahead and mesh transform. Let's see how we can if we can mesh transform it. Ooh. If we can't mesh transform it, I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to bring it more sinister. You know? So bring that up here. Bring this over here. And then we're going to try this. It, if this takes too long or I'm just like, fuck, we won't worry about it too much. So let's go here. Let's grab this color. We go back to our solid. Control D. There we go. D. Throw in that red. I throw in a bit of that blue, green. Kind of see what we're doing. We're just cutting it back in. Dope ass, angry, crazy look instead of a. I, I misread my script when I did this first panel, so that's why I wanted to go in and change that. Ooh, change that out. <laughs> I like that a lot more. That's dope. Shadows. Let's give them a little bit more highlight here. Give them a little bit of that secondary hue. We'll just grab that one to make our lives a little bit easier right now. Yeah, that that's that's more what I liked should have done. I'm going to bring this in just a little bit too, so I don't like how far that went out. I'm going to bring it in a bit, which means we get to pop in some more of the hood there. Let's see. That works. I like that. Yep, that works. <laughs> and then I don't know what this red thing is, so we're going to see if we can erase it. I doubt it. Yep, doubt it. That's what I thought. But we could probably go back here. Let's see if this will allow us to fix it up. Nope. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, new layer. Just touch-ups. Usually I don't do these touch-ups in my panels, but I just knew this page was going to be a special case because I was like, oh, fuck. I know I left that there. Yeah. I knew that was a page that I did. Yes. I'm. <laughs> All right. I'm way happier with that. Cool. I'm going to go here. We're going to unlock this layer. So I'm going to erase. And these corner points are just kind of where I like base out my panels. Uh, so I'm like, sometimes I like not having the, the, the corners around it, but I do want the corners on this one. So. Uh, we're going to stroke. <laughs> uh, 
We'll go, I'll probably do, we'll do center, but we'll do six. So we're not going to be able to see the inside, right? Yep. So instead of center, we'll do outside because it's, it's not going to matter. So let's try that again. We'll go stroke. And we'll pull this outside. Yep. There we go. Nah, you see, you can see it now. I like that. Let's go with the 10. Let's see what a 10 looks like. Uh, we may need to go a little bit thicker. But it's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, let's change that. I will say with 15 to be actually be honest, man. Let's not worry. Let's just we'll get <laughs> let's go to this next one. Let's go, let's go ahead and color this guy. Okay. I like that plan. Alright. So uh we're gonna lay in just a little bit more of this yellow. We're gonna clean up him a little bit. I'll throw some colors in and then we'll throw some colors in out there. Uh so we're just gonna do some we're gonna go in and, and do some detailed color flattening. It's always important to do this on your pages first, like lay down all the base colors um, and then go through and color it. So what we do, here, we're just going to grab all this. So I'm going to outline this in red. Cool. Um, so G, let's see here. We grab the red. Nope. I'm on, there we go. Tolerance zero, perfect. Perfect. All right, and then we'll just pull this in here. So that's how I do it right now. Usually I do it a little bit uh, more precise when I lay down the color flats, but uh, sometimes you don't need to be as picky. And you gotta know that you gotta know when to be picky and when not to be picky. So it sucks, it sucks. donkey dick. Not being picky when you should be picky. <laughs> Those are the worst where you're like, well, I, I thought I was going to be okay. And you cause yourself to do like seven hours extra work. You know? We're not going to be that. We're not going to be that person today. <laughs> All right. So let's grab this. I Other than that, I think he's okay for like just the, the, the color. Uh, oh, nope. Here, let's grab this guy real quick. Um, color flats for him. There we go. Um, we're just going to make this this blue to make it a shattered glass. Um, so here we're just going to squiggle in, squiggle. Squiggle. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? All right. There we go. Pow. Oh, shit. All right. Hey. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, fuck. All right. Nope, nope, nope. We want to minus that. Cool. Now, again, I'm not going to... Unfortunately, this isn't the most precise way, so if you are trying, trying to learn how to... Do the comics and shit. Don't do it this way. Just lasso and fill. Um. <laughs> but that's okay. It doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't affect it too much, you know, a couple seconds here and there compared to like having to do this for the whole page. So good. So good in the hood. It's Gouda. <laughs> All right. So just the last part and then we'll get to the rendering of this guy. Go. Just like that tail. This guy's moving on me again. There we go. Oh, and uh, if for those of you guys who were watching yesterday, so I have continued the bird beak, uh, but it's just not exciting to watch. So I didn't think. I just was like, nah, we won't do that today. I'm still chugging on it, but it's like doing it is like trying to swim through oatmeal. Um, watching it is trying to like swim through a mixture of oatmeal and concrete. So once it's uh, gotten past these just kind of initial production stages and we do get into the real, what we consider more sculpting, I'll live stream that for you guys for sure. Um, the goal is to get this done by the end of the week, like fully sculpted and fully painted. So when we get to the fun stuff, I'll make sure I keep, uh, keep you guys in the loop with it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and color him now. So we're going to grab blue, red, gold, silver, white, gray. Okay, cool. So if you guys can see, there's some spots that kind of cut through. So if, if you do this, and you don't like say you make this character and like four characters boot, um, make sure you lay down the whole base color throughout this whole thing. And then you just lay color on top. Cause when you get these, uh, they're not a huge deal. Like again, I'm just going to go through and, and uh, select them up. But when you're making a, a whole bunch of pages, this can slow down your process. So make sure you guys are uh, very diligent when it comes to um, laying down your flat colors. I can't stress how important that step of the process is. Uh, oh, that's why. Alright. So we're going to have to go a bit uh, here. Let's grab our what? Polygon lasso, vertex lasso, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to trace around my black lines. There we go. Now let's go ahead and go back to our regular, just uh, un, un sectioned lasso. There we go. Again, just kind of making sure I have the full, full guy. Gotta grab these too. There we go. And that's the lasso. There we go. All right, so yep. All right, got that. Got that. We'll see there, guys. Just bear with me, and we'll get to that painting. Just making sure I got all of them, I'm not missing any of them. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go. Most that was me. I did that. <laughs> Pow. All right. So now we'll go Control C, Control V. I've now got everything in this Commander guy selected. So when I start laying down the paint, it'll just stay on him, Mr. Commander. Go back. Usually my yellow is kind of my go-to for the first pass, which is like. Well, let's see. B brush. T for Timothy. All right, let's see. All right, so it's working. We know it's working. What the fuck is going on? Sometimes this happens. <laughs> All right, so here. <laughs> yeah, easier way. You guys get to see the other way of how to do kind of these masks. So uh, we got all of him. So we're going to get all what is going on here. Oh, that's what happened. All right, so sometimes when you copy and paste things, it pastes it way the fuck in the centers it again, so at least I know what was going on. Okay, so we're here. We're just going to make a new layer instead, because usually that works. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, I just go to uh, the, the mask. And we're going to make it continue. Cont Hold on, sorry. All right, so we're here. Right now I've got the background selected, so we're going to unselect the background. It's got to keep. We're not even going to worry about it. We're just going to let it go. We're going to let it be. This is going to be a little bit jankier, but fuck it. I don't want to get upset at it. <laughs> All right, so now we're here. Now this should finally work for me. Please, sweet baby Jesus, I need you right now. Kabow! Yes, all right, so we're back in business. We're back in business, my dudes. All right, so again, light shining through here. So we're not going to worry about ye laying yellow here, but let's lay some yellow through here. Yellow fringes. 
Cool. Oh man, this is gonna be rad. There we go, just edging him in. That's all you gotta do, edge him in, man. Little by bit, bit by bit. Chisel, 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 chisel. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's right. All right, so oh, 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 because this this guy is gold too. So we're actually gonna go. We're gonna turn off the opaqueness. Just get the solid. We gotta cut in this guy. So you know, swoosh, swoosh. Swoosh. Pow, pow. There we go. Yeah, that looks. Ooh, that pops well. I like that a lot. Belt. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So now that we got that up, let's go to this. Oh, let's go back to our uh, more watercolor style. We got that guy. Let's put on the pen pressure. It's gonna be harder. I'm gonna be like more stiff with it, but keep the length there. It's one thing that I found that works well for me. I mean, I don't know if it's accurate, and I don't know if it's a thing you should do, but it works for me. Is like uh, when I'm doing bigger areas, I go for the more like uh, kind of feathered brushes. But if I'm shoveling in details, like hard, hard edges, I'll go for that. So the bigger what the color you're trying to put in, the hazier it can get. That, that's something I use. Um, I mean, you may have a different trick that helps you make it look visually appealing. So I don't want to stop you from doing your thing. It's whatever works. That's a cool thing. That's a great thing, especially Photoshop, dude. There's literally like 5,000 ways to do one thing. So the way I do it may not be how, be how the next person does it. Maybe do it better than me. So find out what's the best way for you and just fucking run with it. Run with it, run with it. I do like that color. It's nice here. There we go. All right, so this blue, I love the blue so much. We're gonna add some highlights into the blue. And then we will Add some shadows into it. Then we'll go to the, oop, let's actually go here. Let's add that yellow back into his cape on this side. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. A little further away, but it should still get it. I like that. <laughs> I love coloring. I just get so amped when it comes to coloring, dude. All right. So, grab it. This guy's usually my go-to. Let's go with this guy. He's bright, but not as uh, saturated. Doesn't pop out as hard. We'll see if we want that. Kind of works. Let's see here. Well, we can make this work for sure. So when we get down here, we're going to keep it simpler, but we can cut in more because my lines aren't as heavy, so I can throw in. When your lines are heavy, when your lines are congested like this, you're trying to say there's a shadow there, so there shouldn't be any really highlight colors in next to the areas. When there's very open space, that's where you you should be telling yourself, okay, here's where, where my highlights are. So you want to make sure your inks and your colors are synchronized. And it's even harder to do when it's somebody else, else's inks, you know? So, I mean, it's a tricky job, and I'm saying it's easy. I'm not trying to downplay it at all, because it is a crucial part of your process. Marrying one part of your process with another to make it like look like a smooth transition. Because it could be you who makes the whole comic or project, but if it looks like it was a different person touched it, even though it was only you on every step, it still breaks that coherence a bit. So whether you're working with people or not, you want it, your goal is to try to get a coherent project, a coherent looking product, I'd say. Final vision, user experience, should be cohesion, co coherent. And all, oh man, yeah, I can fucks with that. Um, 
in all aspects. So cool. Now let's go ahead and add in a little bit of shadows. We're gonna get some hard shadows here on this guy. Uh, let's go here. That is very pink. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go multiply on the actual brush. Usually I don't do this. You guys are just kind of seeing how I shortcut some things just because of the situation. You want to be able to have a, an array of tools for any situation that arises. You know, you don't want to be ha have a tool that's just like, okay, when it's working like this, I can use this tool. It's like, okay, if the situation's this, I use this tool. If the situation changes, I still know the process, so I don't fucking slow down, dude. Once you get going, you want to keep going. It's so important. Like That's something... Ah, see, it's multiply, so I'm not seeing it. Um, my, like... The art people that taught me, they kind of dug that into my head. It's like, just work, man. Page after page. It's not that single page that makes the whole. It's, it's, it's the repetition of those pages. As tiring as that gets. Boom. Here we go. Hey. Let's go back. It's not quite what I was looking for, so that's okay. We're going to grab the, just the cape for this one. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to grab the red. So it's contiguous. Take that off. Contiguous? Contiguous? There we go. Contiguous. Bring this here. Oh, no. Actually, we're just going to keep that selection. Make a, make a new layer and then uh, mask it on the red. So now we're, we're just messing with the cape. I want to get these darker, darker shades in. Oh, and this is one thing that frustrates me about Photoshop is when you create a new mask every time. I don't know why this is the default. Maybe it's my like my settings, but uh, every time when I try to go to paint, it'll be on the mask layer where you're choosing what to mask and what not to mask. So the actual layer. So I always start painting on the mask layer and like fuck it up. And it's so frustrating. Let's see, all right. So let's try. And now we're just not working. Now we're just being a pain in the dick. There we go. All right. Oh, it's because I turned down the opacity so much. Never mind. <laughs> I'm getting all mad at it. Like it's just fucking up in every way now. Nope. These are error. Me being a dumbass. You always got to keep that in check too. It's like when you're looking at it, you're like, is there this possibility that it's just me being a fucking idiot? Nine times out of ten, the answer is yes. So just be prepared for that. Be prepared, be humble, and make awesome shit. Yeah, I like that fold right there. So we're just going to make sure we taper it with the uh, opacity. Yeah. Pull it through here just a little bit more. But we're keeping it close. His shadow's right there and it's cut through. I think you guys can kind of see that. All right, let's go ahead, pull this cape through here. Pull it out. Edge it there. Cut in this crease a bit. Definitely cut in this crease a bit. Now let's just go here with the big guy. We're gonna edge in that shadow just a little bit more. But I don't like that a whole lot. Gotta be more careful, so we're gonna edge it into here. Nah. It's all about playing with it, obviously. There we go. Just always walking the line. Walking the line and having your finger ready to hit Control Alt Z. <laughs> or Control Z. Always ready to erase or delete or step back. A little edge to it. 
cool. I'm liking him. Let's go through the gloves and the blade just a little bit. Uh, for these, we're actually going to grab more of a kind of a blue. We'll multiply. I know it's really blue, but we're just gonna draw. I'm gonna go through, lay in what I want, and then we'll just go through and drop the opacity a bit, opacity a bit. How do you say, dude? I don't care. <laughs> but uh, like with real paints, if I started throwing in this color and was like, oh no, it's too saturated, I'd have to stop and change it. But with this, ah oh, man, because you can just play with it from here. A little bit more blue into it. Ooh, no, I like that. Or, or I think it's green, almost, that we're getting to. But it gives it a little bit of three-dimensionality. Ooh, this is going to be sweet. We may throw a hue over these background colors because I really like him. We may just want him to pop forward more. That may be how we go about doing this, but let's throw some, uh, let's get, I don't want to multiply there. Let's throw some light on this guy a little bit. Mm. I'm not going to color, we're just going to go, we're just going to stay with our multiply so our lights and our darks, especially darks on this guy. Yeah, there we go. Now ah, things are starting to kind of bounce a bit, you know? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. So that's feeling really comfortable. Let's go through just a light. Bash this blade out a bit. Go here. Through just a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> Let's go through here. Go back to our letter brush. So it's usually like pretty much only three brushes that I really use. The rest are nice, but like, stick to my main piece. Find the ones that work for you. Cool. Cool, all right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm, I'm feeling good with this, but we may be able to push his colors just a little bit more. So we're gonna combine everything that is colored with him, that we're like, we're gonna merge these layers now. We can fuck around a little bit, kind of move it. All right, but something happened. We got a little bit off with those colors. I don't mind it, but it doesn't fit with the other ones that we did. So we may change it back to that color, but yeah, we're just gonna make it simple. When you just do merge down, you kinda can adjust that problem. I don't apply. There we go, see? See, now it's just kinda like getting normal. So sometimes you gotta take your time with it. It's cause I didn't up. Mm. <laughs> it happened again, you guys see it happen? Here, let's see here. Let's apply the mask first before we try to merge it. Apply. Now let's merge. Ooh, I'm going to punch somebody. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. We'll grab the cape from here. Then we'll change the year. We'll go a little bit more red. That works. Okay, cool. Now I can change the whole thing, so... I'm gonna jump this way, jump this way. It works. It works as it is. Uh, but let's oh, let's do our levels. So Control L brings up your levels. That just you can mess with the opacity and the uh, contrast. Ooh. 
let's just leave it as is. <laughs> I don't mind it actually. Like it's, I may add a little shadow. We may just go a little bit of this guy down through here. What is going on here? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta play with it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, well. oh, here, here's why. Sorry, I'm not used to doing it in this uh, uh, order. We're leaving it. We are leaving it. <laughs> we can change these now. So I got this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh oh. Why did we grab that? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I fucked up and made this the same color as this. That's great. Okay, so what we'll do. We'll just. Hmm. We're gonna grab everything and then cut it out. So we're gonna grab this gray, but then we're gonna cut it out of this gray. So minus, let's grab our polygon minus. Nope, we're in plus still, so minus. Minus, again, because of the hues that where the gray kind of peeked through just a little bit. Make sure you guys don't let any colors peek through when you, you color in your uh, pages. All right, so now we got it. We'll go H. I think we're going to do a photo filter, probably. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I do like that color. Let's go with that. Kind of like that a lot. That color palette. And it sticks with the purple of everything else, too. So that works with me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to – so I'm going to my line art. Again, you guys can see that. The line art, we're going to unlock it. Um, going to go to normal. Okay, cool. So I've already deleted the white. I've done a threshold. Selected all the white, deleted it, and then put a layer lock over it. So we can keep that layer lock over it. This just means, so this, when you do this one, it means you can only paint over the pixels that are already present in this layer. This one means you can't do anything to that layer. So we're just going to lock the pickle, pick, pickles, pixels. We're going to lock the pixels. And we're going to throw in some color. Over this, and I'm thinking about uh, Carlos Maglia, who I started to go light. He would usually go like a darker tone, but not black to outline. So, oh, let's let's start with this. Let's go ahead and undo that. I like this color, defining the edge of the broken glass a lot, actually. That's perfect. And then we'll add a gradient into it too. So this will be cool. Not like a not a gradient gradient, but we're gonna throw in our own little thing into that. We're gonna bring uh let's bring this pink in through here too. So let's go back to our base base layer. Grab our and let's go ahead and pull it this way. Ciao. Grab that color, poke it in, Cha -cha. go back up here. Since we got that broken glass, we're going to grab this color again, pull it into that broken glass, and that's how you can color line art. That's what I'm really trying to do. I'm trying to eliminate a lot of the black lines as much as I can and just let the color in these panels start to speak. That That's looking way better. I really like that. Uh, Cool. We're going to play with that a little bit. I'm going to go through. There's a couple stray black lines that we're just going to erase to clean this up a little bit. Oh, 
There we go. Sometimes you want the uh, fuzzy brush uh, to erase, but sometimes you want the like the straight, straight uh, solid brush. It just all depends on the situation. And that's why I love uh, Photoshop, is they were just like, what situation could pop possibly arise? Let's give them five different tools for it. I'm really actually thankful for that. You know, like at first it was, it was it's definitely an overwhelming thing. Um, but now, like after you get into it, after you put in that time, after you get in those hours, your possibilities are fucking endless. Like for real. Okay, cool. I dig that. Loving that. That was a perfect color color matchup for that. Um, let's try it a little bit more. I don't want to go. I don't want to go overboard with it. But the more black lines I can eliminate, the better. In my opinion, for these, like definitely because I come from that like hardcore punk background, so like thick, heavy outline black lines are like definitely ingrained in my DNA. So I try to throw those, those in, like, and you'll see it in like later pages, but the really thick gray, uh, black lines to outline. But when I don't want to condense it up and get it really heavy, like if I don't want a heavy looking page, I got to keep these lines kind of. Kind of nice and light. Ooh, now we're cooking though. Let's go and add in some uh, shadows here. So we we'll do we'll go W. We'll copy all of that. Add another layer when we get to it. So now we're just adding on that gray. Let's grab this gray. We get our fuzzy brush, large fuzzy. I'm just uh, we're gonna. Throw in a layer. Uh, it's normal, so we want to make sure we um, multiply. That is way too fucking heavy. <laughs> there we go. Get that just a bit. Cool. Then we'll throw some stuff on top. We're going to do some highlights on this wall first, and then we're going to bring some shadows into this wall. Uh, let's go back to our comic letter brush. Oh, I gotta get that uh, pen pressure with it. Awkward angle, so I'm gonna use two hands again. Yeah. Lay this in just right here. I like that, but we're also going to go through with our eraser. We're just going to feather up this. You got to feather it. Keep feathering it, my dudes. Uh, we're going to feather up this part of it. There we go. And then we'll add in some shadows and stuff to that too. But I just wanted to give it a little bit more three dimensionality. Yeah, cool. All right, because then if we go through and try to throw it down here, I don't know if it'll be lighter. I don't know if it'll be much lighter. I don't know if you'll even notice it. Uh, it's much lighter. I don't know if I want much lighter. <laughs> to be honest with you, I just may have been saying that in the hopes that it wasn't going to work, but it did. Um, yeah, I'm going to shadow it up more, to be honest. I want the, more of the shadow. Uh, so again, we'll make a new tab, we'll get a multiply. It's just a lot of different layers with different blending modes over solid color. Cool. You may, I think we'll change up the opacity of this layer a little bit as we go. Ooh. That's looking good to me. Yeah. 
Yep, we'll go a little heavier up here too. Too heavy. I think I had a lag there that kind of made it think that I was pushing down hard in that spot for the whole time while I was trying to draw around with it. That happens, that's okay. I am digging this. Almost. I feel more confident with my like laying in of shadows and shit now though. For real. Ooh, that looks cool. All right, so uh, this, the the black over the gold is uh, just making a bit too much of a contrast for me. So uh, we'll go ahead and switch that up. Um, let's see here. So we'll lighten it up. We're gonna go through, we're gonna grab an orange. What more of a vibrant orange? And gonna be gentle with it. We're gonna drop down the opacity of it so we can keep it nice and light. So a little bit. Oh, come on, 43, 100. Yeah. Ciao. Good job. Broken, uh, ooh, that'll work so well. Just a broken face piece, you know. Test tube. A little bit of red, give me a little pop, a little flare. Because this will get, we're going to throw a, uh, a shine. Uh, kind of a glow. There we go. Glow is a better word for it. Glow over his head. Do you like this color, so let's go ahead and throw this through here. Just a little bit more, but I do need to keep my sensitivity on. Yeah, you see how it just softens it up ever so slightly, but it doesn't. It just doesn't come at you as hard anymore. Like just like you can read it, and it looks more like one as as opposed to a bunch of individual strands. And for a what I'd call a side detail, an unimportant detail, like the frills, like, like I don't care if you notice it. I don't need to go so heavy. But if it's something I really want you to notice, I will go in. There was just too much uh, contrast going on with those, but I like. And that sits way better. We might go through with our blue here. Yeah, we're just lighting it up. So I'm still keeping it mostly dark, but I am throwing this in just to give it a little lighter feel, ever so slightly. It's just not as heavy. Because it's pretty heavy around him anyway. Like dark and then light but see you see it on the light there's not much uh what contrast on the color you know it's just it's just that line art color in the peak i will throw probably like a stir a, a, a orangey or red similar to this and some corner shadows just give it that three-dimensionality a little bit and then we'll go out there um, so again, going to pull down. I haven't touched this layer yet, so it's the same, and all the lines are good. So we'll just Control C, Control V. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Control C, Control V. There we go. I just had to make sure that I create one too many. Layers like I just did then. There we go. All right. So I'm thinking more of this. This is like straight tomato red. We'll be light with it. 
probably drop down that OPC to around 40 ish. Um, it's nice and soft. But yeah, you see it just adds in. Helps. Anything helps. Go a little darker with the red here on the corners of it. Ooh. All right. I'm going to drop the opacity. Opacity. There we go. That's probably the better. Ooh. That's perfect. Probably, probably the better way to say it. I like that. That's looking fresh. Ah. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. It's looking good. All right, let's go to the purple now. I'm not going to be noodling too hard. I kind of want to keep this purple more flat. But let's give it some highlights. We'll start with the shadows first and then give it some highlights. Sort of bring that back a bit. Just stick it out. Because um, it's a back background. So let's do this. We're going to color. We're going to kind of make it all one tone, just like it is like a purple or, or, or a color with small uh, variations in it to delineate shapes. And uh, that way it stays pretty flat and stays really far in that background. And we're going to really lighten up these lines. Because uh, as things go away, they become a little bit lighter, kind of ha become hazier. So we're going more for a hazier effect on these. All right, so grab the orange. Control-C, Control-V. Got ourselves a new layer. We're going to lock that layer in. Grab. I'm feeling this color. I don't know how it's going to go, but that color was just kind of screaming at me. Pick me, pick me. So let's see here. All right. Let's try it out. If anything, you hide it, make a new layer over it, and try it again. But I actually like the sharper, the tinier, sharper line. Kind of weird. Usually I go for the more dull in the beginning. Ooh, here we go. A bit wider back here as we get further back. Ooh, yeah, you can see it coming now, man. I can just feel it calling in the air at night. <laughs> Something like that. I don't like that blue as much. Like it's too blue. Let's actually. Sometimes I just lay down that color for you. Even though I know it's wrong, it's like. I know what I'm going to turn it into, so I'll just kind of follow that path a little bit to see how I feel about it with the other color. That's not bad. It's a little too dark. He kind of starts battling with those guys, and that's way back there. So let's drop down the opacity on that. Yeah, there we go. Cool, I like that. I can live with that. We can do this. Just laying in the shadows. Do that. Hey. The jamming out to Pussyfoot tonight. Really, really enjoying that music. 
Hopefully you're all having a good day. Night. It is night. Dude, I love this brush so much. Very, uh, you're not sure what you're going to get sometimes, just with, it's got that little random factor in it, but I love it. As I fuck up, but I love it. <laughs> now let's go back to this guy, and let's just lightly lays in like an airbrush kind of over it. Go back one step. So now let's go ahead and bring that in. Alright, so now we can fuck with that color a little bit. I don't think I want to fuck with that color at all, to be honest with you. It's too saturated. Saturated. Hmm. Dude, I enjoy that. That's looking cool. That's looking really cool. Um, let's see this. Let's go ahead. I'm pretty sure this is a little not 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 the line art. Right? This is the line art. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna take this line out right? again. Lock the pixels. Let's go deep blue on these lines. So it's not black. It's just a deep blue. It's so deep that you can't even see it. There we go. Now let's push it back there a little bit. Now you can see how we're going go further back in that. Let's see how, how light we can get it. I'm honestly kind of interested. I like that. But would it read better if we just mixed this? Control B. Brought him down a bit, maybe? I don't know. Nah. I like the lines in. They, they, they give it some balance. Works for me. Works for me. Let's go ahead and jump to this guy. I may change the background colors, actually. This so this is the glass. That's done. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three. Copy layers. Duplicate layers, sorry. Merge layers. That looks black as fuck. Okay, go through. Try and do that. Of course I did. Alright. That's why I didn't see those. I forgot that it was still attached, so let's go ahead and merge these layers. So now we duplicate these layers. They're not going crazy places. Whee! So much trial and error has gotten me to this point where it's like, okay, I don't want to do oh man. All these colors are great. So we have a good color setup. When you can change the colors and still be like, man, this color change looks radical. Where it makes sense and you could like move it to anyone and still be like, yep, yeah, I like that. Then you know you've done you've done your colors right. If like as soon as you move it from here to here, it becomes like all crazy and you're like, oh, that, that doesn't look right at all. Then you got an issue. But if it can uh, like light and dark look good at any color, you're set. But if it only looks good in the light and dark uh, aspect at a certain color range and then you go to a different color range, be like, hi, might need some tuning up. That's just kind of what I found. Um, we'll leave that now though, because I like <laughs> I like how that is right now. Um, a lot of these pages, I do like 80% of the work, like as the panel, the panel progression happens. And the last 20% is just kind of me 
tightening everything up. So as I tighten everything up, I'll tighten these colors up because I love him. I'm loving that. I'm loving how that's rendered. I like these colors, but I just we may find colors that will mesh with the rest of the page even better as we move forward. But let's keep rocking. Um, I at least want to get through these four tonight. I think we'll do these four and call it good, but uh, yeah. Ooh, dope. I don't think we'll have too much issue with the color separations here. We'll find out. Um, let's just, we can find out now. Okay, so again, there's a little bit. I want to make sure you don't have those, but this shouldn't, this won't distract us too much. We may take a couple minutes longer. But uh, just even having help on any of these, man, I'm super appreciative, you know. Took me years and years to learn how to do things correctly. So it's awesome that I'm getting help. I love it. Super excited. Allowed me to make these comics even faster for you guys, which is always a huge, huge oh, contiguous. Contiguous. You want to be contiguous? Cool. Okay. Sweet. So again, I'll just go through and pick up these areas just a little bit. It's not a huge thing. Super easy to. Like I would, I'll take having to do this over having to do the colors any day. Go just there. I was so nervous about like how drawing like drawing this dude's transformation was gonna turn out, but it turned out really well. Like his next step, like who what he looks like when he's not in this test tube is fucking rad. Like I was super stoked when that it came out. <laughs> cool. So I just duplicated all that, put it on new layer. I'm gonna make a new layer above it. Hold Alt, click the in between these two layers. There we go. Now, this is the parent. It's like linking parent. All this is just constrained to what's in this layer. So we're just coloring him, but I don't have to be super, super like diligent when I get to the edges of him. I now have to be diligent because the color I'm going to, whoop, <laughs> the color I'm going to lay in is uh not on the edges so i gotta be careful yeah be smart about your life there we go no i don't have to be as clean precise i'm still gonna be precise but makes it easy and being a comic book artist is all about the shortcuts to an extent you don't want to make it your goal is to take all the shortcuts you can while never allowing you to audience to know that you took a shortcut they know they'll see it and it breaks kind of the magic of it but if they don't know it and you can get away for it you can get away with it dude go for it <laughs> just because you're going to be making so 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 many pages and so many panels if you want to take this here like if you really want to become a comic book artist the the amount of production that you do is is it's hard to rival, in my opinion. Look at that. That looks dope. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to pick that. You know what? I don't know if I like that white. I think I like the darker colors. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. But we are going to pick up that yellow that we were using. So we're going to pick up. We're going to pick up this yellow. We're going to dash the yellow in, and then we'll go with that lighter gold. And we'll have some fun. I'm so excited to, like, I just love working on this comic, man. It's so much fun. Like, whenever I get a chance. Some days it's, like, hard to get started, but once I get started, I'm like, oh, yeah. That's why I fucking love this. 
That's right. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna go back down to this panel. We're gonna grab this base color. I'm just gonna lay the base color in these frills a little bit more. There we go. Picking it up. Picking it up. Picking it up. Picking up. There we go. Cha -cha. All right, so now we'll go back here. And, the, and since I added that in, I can still touch it on that layer. It's, it's a really cool, this linking stuff really works. So if I change how many pixels are like in the, this layer, it'll affect what this layer shows. It doesn't mean it deletes what's in this layer. It just doesn't show it. It's like a mask, but in just a different way. I do this way because I have multiple layers that all link to this layer. Like if you only have one, masks are good for like single layer things. But if you're packing layer on top of layer on this color, I would go with the linking instead of the uh, uh, mask. But it's really up to you and what your workflow is and how you want to approach it. That up just a little bit. There we go. This is fucking rad, though. Yeah. And same thing, just like before. Once we get some more of these colors in, we'll go through the uh, line art and we'll loosen up these black lines and these uh, decor decoration, freely decoration shit. Um, we'll loosen them up to like a brownish so it won't be so harsh. But that's getting close to what I want with those. Let's go make them a little bigger. Let's go ahead and just cut in the whole side. Yeah. Just try to trying to dodge in some highlights. As we get to this side, I'm being harsh and small. This side is long and soft. It's a way that I find Helps with the shading to kind of also delineate like where that source is. That works for me though. I like that. Now it's just throwing a little bit of the yellow here. So we've got this cape here. So we're actually going to throw in more yellow than I usually would here. Just to allow this area to pop and say, hey, there's a shoulder blade here. We'll go a little bit here. And these rails, but it goes down. So there's not as much. We're just catching little bits, little bits. There we go, that works for me. And then we'll do more shadow there. Uh, let's go ahead and keep working the shadow on these because I like where it's going with these frills. So grab the orange. I'm gonna try to grab the orange again, there we go. Um, I'm still gonna connect it to the layers below. I don't have to because I'm gonna mask it. But just, just to keep my brain intact and kind of like not confused. Don't confuse yourself either. That's that can, that can, that can suck. <laughs> Obviously, I'm confused like half the time anyway, so I don't want to make myself more confused. <laughs> All right. So showing in, showing in, loading in those. Uh, and I'm not doing multiply because I like this brown anyway. Multiply will probably look good, but the just regular brown on blending mode changed. I just want to make sure I've got my uh, opacity pressure, pen pressure activated. Nice. Nice. <laughs> 
Workaholics is I, I can't not love that show. Whenever I get to cha- get a chance to quote that show, I'll quote it for sure. Yeah, dude. Fresh. Look at that. Nice. Now that has a three. Di- definitely has a three dimensional element. What if we lighten that up just a little bit? There we go. I got just a little dark there. I think I just got happy with that brush. Yeah, I definitely got happy with the brush. So I do like the, the hardness. Of, no, we're keeping it. Yeah, we're going to stay hard. We're going to stay hard. Um, we're going to stay with that 100% opacity. But then through here, I'm going to turn off the opacity. I'm going to noodle in these lines. Noodling in some details, some of those more hardcore shadow lines. Where there's a lot of lines, I can get a little heavier. Where there's not as many lines, I don't want to get heavy. It's a good rule of thumb too, like as you're working. If your line art's heavy, throw them shadows in, man. If it's light, you best be careful with where those shadows go, those hard highlights. I'm not gonna link that in. Give this guy some depth. Put this in a little bit. Yeah. I think it's, it's getting a little hard there. So let's go ahead and pull that back just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Nice. <laughs> I can't not get excited, man. That's this, this is the best part about art. Is it just making yourself happy when you get some stuff that you love? Just that that feeling is like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's the feel I'm getting right now. A little bit more of that shadow down here. There we go. Nice. That is. I'm really, I really enjoy like painting kind of like gold effects, you know, the yellow, the yellow and the brown, like you, you brown, you, I always like, I'm scared on brown because brown's like brown, but like when you put it with yellow, it can get a great golden effect. So if you're like, ever want to get gold and you're wondering how to do it without like getting like paint that is the metallic gold, yellow and brown, man. They make it, they make it sing. That's perfect. All right, let's go through, add in some more stuff. All right, let's go under it. Let's go and pop. Let's pop. I don't know. I'm looking at a lot of shadows, to be honest with you guys. Let's do some, uh, let's do some shadows on the cape, and then we'll do some shadows on the blue, and then we'll put in our highlights. Usually, like you guys saw there, I go highlight to shadow. Uh, with this one, we're going to go shadow to highlight. And I think that'll actually work out better for what we're trying to get here. I'm going to grab only the blue right now. I know I, was, I said I was going to do red first, but we're actually going to go with the blue first. Again, I'm just going to mask it off. So sometimes you can do the link and the mask. It's up to you and how you want to do it. As long as it doesn't slow you down. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, he, he, he was he was just singing. I'm, I, I'm, he's, it's darker, you know. It just made more sense to go with that dark first and try to like pop in some highlights and then figure it out. And it just depends, man. It depends on what you see and what you want to do. Here, I'm just doing a little, I'm doing a little wash. Try not to get too crazy with it. But then we'll make it smaller. Then go through that heavier chisel. So again, small lines get the more harsh, low opa opacity. But I can dig that. It feels 3D to me. 
And we'll go back here. Is this the... Yep. Grab our ground again. Let's go ahead and throw some... All right, fine. F you then. Let's go ahead and throw some, uh, some of these browns in it. I missed this part when I was going through it visually. This part's important. We'll grab the yellow. Throw it in. Tiny smidgen on these edges here. Just a wee little bit. Go. Let it sing. We're actually gonna, because I want this to be so reflective on the little button. I'm gonna turn turn off the opacity. Just to bump in some harsh yellows on these highlights. That is rad. That is rad. Holy shit. That is fucking cool. If you don't think it's cool, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and keep blasting in here. Uh, let's go with the light gray. I'm going to do his gloves now. Which one is this? So that's that. We're just going to make a new layer. Um, flap, flap. Just so I don't get confused, because I'm going to merge all these, and I just want to make sure they're merged correctly and not. I don't miss any panels, parts, colors. You get what I'm saying, I think. I hope. <laughs> Turn on the pass. I'm going to pull this edge in a bit. Bring it down low. There we go. Cool. All right, so now let's go here. OK, so this is the last blue. We're going to throw a little bit black, a bit of the, not black, a little bit of dark into this cape. I'm going to bring it back just to try to get the shadow of his head. It looks pretty accurate. Doesn't have to be perfect. Has to be what you think is accurate. It's finding that, in my opinion, it's finding the balance of like, like the, you know what Todd McFarlane he says, he's like, I'm not the great artist, but I just, I don't care about, like, I don't really follow the rules. I just draw what it what looks cool. If it looks cool, it works. And then if you can get that combined with like the, the, the P. Craig Russell almost, of like having that an an anatomical mastery, if you can get it, find yourself in, like able to do both, you're going to be set like where you need to do the true, harsh, like rigid anatomy and perspective, or you can just be loosey goosey. You want to be able to do both. So if you ever do have to do one of them, one or the other, it's not a challenge for you. Uh, it's important. You know, it's kind of like Mobius and Bruce Lee said, both of them said, like, forget style, you know, have all styles. And it's so true. You know, like, I uh, started doing, I, I picked up Blender and, like, trying to do some 3D animation, trying to do some body painting, trying to do some, like, almost puppetry and animation type stuff. So I'm trying to expand what my possibilities are uh, and what all the tools are that I can make art with. Because that's the important thing, is it just that you make not you have an end product that you can call your own and you, what you call as art. Other people that have called it art, but as long as you call it art, you will be set. There we go. Just turn to the opacity, opacity, god damn it, I'll get that word right one day. Opacity down just a little bit. Digging what I'm seeing now. Okay. All right. Edge these in. Ooh, that's looking good. That's looking, looking real good. We got the background in. Our background is kind of going to be like a V. So it's going to be shooting out that way, really. So that the sword and 
looks like it's cut in the air almost. I think that would be dope. Yeah, okay, so here, let's go in just like we did with this panel. We're gonna lay in some of the colors in this one. Not a lot because he is closer, so I can get away with being darker, but especially on this broken part and a little bit through here, get some of these colors going. Line art, line art. So we're gonna lock the, we're gonna go normal. Oh, see, okay, so this is another thing. So I was on multiply. I do, I do threshold, then multiply for my line art usually, but then if I wanna change the color of line art, I'll grab all the white, delete the white. Ooh, I didn't threshold this panel, that's why. Okay, so first you gotta threshold it. So let's go adjustments, threshold. This just cleans up your line art a bit. Now I'm gonna go delete it. Look, no white lines. Now it is like about 80% of a black line, so it did kind of, because my lines weren't super black, so it did like 80% like a gray, which is kind of why you get this. Uh, it's more 80, it's like, even though it says opacity 100%, it's more like an 80% opacity, so we'll block the uh, pixels, we'll fill it with black, and then you can see that immediately brings it back to our full thing. I'm on normal blending mode, usually I'm on multiply, but I'm gonna bring, some colors in here now, and that looks perfect. <laughs> yeah, oh, now nah, let's go a little darker for that part. Do you want a yellow? Okay, so maybe we will go multiply. All right, so we'll go here. Again, I'm just walking. You can even do it with the liner. Locking it to my line art, and now we'll go multiply, and we'll go, son of a bitch. <laughs> Man, it's been a little while since I've colored. It's okay, we'll pull it here, and we'll just make it dark. We'll manually do this. Grab that color, kind of like that. Here. Oh, that's red. That is for sure red. <laughs> we don't want red. And then same thing, we're gonna bring black lines just a little bit grayer. I do like the black lines for the fingers, so let's go back here. Outline each finger, so I don't mind the shading being gray. We'll bring each finger to be black, that would be cool. Um, gotta add, add some, some light, light uh, textures there. I like the black with the high contrast on the gold, so we'll keep that there. Cool, now we're getting there with the lightness. All right, just blue, just bring it in, especially on these lighter spots. Cool, love it, love it, love it, love it. Just gonna clean up his cape on the line art just a little bit now. It's very squiggly and noodly. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not good. One of those days where it's not good. Especially these, the, the tangent, not the tangent lines. Is it the tangent? Perpendicular. Right? Per, the perpendicular lines from the flow are what breaks it. So that's usually the lines I'll erase. If they're straight lines, but they go with the flow of the line art, I'll keep them. But it's when they really battle with, see, even though that, <laughs> but when they really battle with, uh, the flow, that's when I'll delete it, delete it, erase it, whatever you want to call it. And I'm actually going to pull these lines out here to become white. I think that'll really give it a pow, because we want a pow right now. 
Locking pixels, grabbing our white. We're just going to hit in, eliminate the pen pressure because I just want it to be white, white, and not a weird fucking gray. There we go. Yeah, that just makes those parts pop. You know, it separates them from him as well. That makes sense. Like he, mm -hmm. <laughs> Be careful not to get on him with the white, you know, because again, that's this is help helping delineate him from everything else and gives him a little bit more pop. But if I'm lazy and allow the white to drag onto his defining lines, then he's not as, uh, see right there, he's not as defined. Ooh! All right. But again, I've done this enough, so when I do make a mistake, I know how to fix that mistake. <laughs> I want to scream and cry when I make the mistake, but I know how to fix it. There we go. Dude, that's that's something radical. We can throw some white on these lines as well. Ba -ba. You know, we're going to erase these. Nope, we're going to keep those lines black. <laughs> that is cool. I do like how that looks. I like how that looks a lot. All right, so now let's grab that purple in the background. We're going to stay on our background. We'll move on to the next. We've got to draw the sword silver. Sorry, guys. It's silver. Silver. Right. Ciao. There we go. Pow. Oh. I'm going to follow this. This line with it. Maybe that refined edge might be a little bit dark. Let's bring it back in. Nope, not not dark at all. We're good. We're gonna keep it like that. Good juxtaposition. Oh, but we do need to cut in a shadow of our blade. So we're gonna take this. Uh, let's grab something just a bit more. We'll go multiply. Enter B. That that blade is just traveling across there. Bounce it back a bit. That'll work. Really good enough. Cool. Now, now let's go here. Oh, don't want to copy these things, so we're just going to cut out. He went inside a little bit. That's what she said. He went inside a little bit, so we're just going to cut him out of there with our lasso tool. There we go. Okay, I think uh, he's cut back out. Cut out enough, we'll put it that way. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking dark to light with that V kind of coming in. Let's go ahead and do that V first. Uh, I'm just gonna go here. You're nice and soft, just laying in. What we're looking for. It's going to be something like that. I did not think I was going to get that close or accurate to what I was looking for that quickly with that V, but you can take your victories when you get them. Actually, I do really like this V a lot. Oh, so we're actually going to change it. We're going to go dark to light. I like that. 
put that here, I think. B. Oh, because we're multiply. That's why. I don't want to be on multiply. We're going to make another new layer to get out of the multiply. Yeah. It's coming, coming together now. <laughs> Gotta turn on pad pressure. Yeah. I'm digging it. I'm gonna let my fucking white lines do the talking. That is dope. Let's see what colors you can get. Let's see here. Alright, so we're going to combine these two layers. So this is going to be my pink. So we don't see it anymore. I'm actually going to bring this one down. We're going to unlink a pink. We're going to unhide it. I know it looks crazy right now, but. Playing with it. Let's see what that color actually feels really good. Okay, so we're gonna link again. Pow, you see? It disappears. Ha ha. That's what I love about it. It's non destructive. That's a new word I learned. But yeah, very non destructive. Purple or blue? I love the blue, but I don't want to get caught in this costume. You know? Let's go for there for right now. And like I said, like with uh, this too, like with this and this, they're going to be similar, but I'm still not sure on the color yet. So we're just going to kind of leave it be for just a moment, get some more palette going throughout the piece and see what what is lacking that these need. And we'll kind of blast that in to give it that cohesion and just all around. Uh, togetherness of the, the page as a whole because you want the page to read as a whole you know the best the best colorists create so good colorists create a palette for a page the best pa uh, colorists create a palette uh, a palette for a scene so like while they're in that entire scene the palette stays consistent and the same but it's incredibly striking and different than the palettes of other scenes and that's something I did not do great going into this issue, into this scene that we're in right now. But like moving forward, I'm always trying to be more and more aware of it. But it's something I'm getting better at now and really focusing on. So it was something that was a little shaky before, but as we're moving forward, we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. So we have all these connected panels. All these panels are him. I feel good on that. So we can don't merge layers unless you know you're totally done with like that part you're like i'm not changing it it's perfect Let's see move the colors i don't need to move any of those colors i like it he's kind of cool we may go there's some gradient stuff we'll do with these later on but let's just pow this guy out um oh actually you know what let's have the glow you guys can kind of see the glow that I'm going for. Usually it's an overlay, I think, is, is the layer I use, but we go here and we grab the soft round pressure. Lay in a big red shot. And I go smaller orange as we get in. Then I'll do like a yellow through there. And then, so that looks kind of cool anyway. We'll pull it out. We're just going to play with the different blending options. Something like that is usually kind of what I go with. I do like the. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I always like messing with your options. I almost like the normal, to be totally honest. What if we mess with that? Make it a little bit more orange instead of red. I think that's pretty rad to be honest with you. Let's, the only thing is like we don't get, you can't see the fractures. 
of the test tube over it. We play with it as, as we go on, but I just want to find one that I'm comfortable with. And like, it's like, I'm okay with this one. And that way I can continue to color. Not, not that one. We're going normal now. I kind of really like that. That'll probably change, but for right now it works. Uh, let's go ahead and color this part. You can see that purple continuing. So I, it, and that's why I chose the purple. It was like I don't have the color that I want to use yet, but purple is good separate from. It's a good color to use that's separate from the uh, base blue, yellow, and red that we have. But once I figured out what I want, this one. This, this, and kind of these down here will all be connected to a, a very similar color. We'll see what color that is. You know, that, that, that answer hasn't quite jumped out to me yet, but it will. <laughs> it totally, I know it will for sure. And if not, you work at it until it does. And that's how, again, that's how you beat Rider's Block, man. All right, I'm just going to do the glove real quick. To give me a good sense of where I want the shadows, the hard shadows to be. Alright, so let's grab, grab my neutral gray. Let's grab our comic letter -er brush again. Turn on the, uh, what is that? Pen pressure on the opacity. That's kind of cool. Definitely gives you that more three-dimensional effect. So slightly dark, darker for these closer ups. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, now we're gonna use the soft pen pressure. Because it's in the foreground, I want it to come through. Nah. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of shoot forward a bit. We'll get some hard, sharp yellows on his sword to keep that balanced. All right, let's see. Grabbing the gold again. Grabbing some gold. Cool. Perfectly done. No issues there. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm again. I'm gonna grab my comics letter brush. I just love that watercolor effect that gets on it. Go here. All right. Oh, almost took down my setup. That's okay. Um, Yes, and then we add that harsh yellow through. Oh, dude, that's going to pop in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> I got to 100 opacity. Pull that out just a tiny bit. Pull up these edges. I do like the edges. So we're going to pull those edges, but we're going to be just smaller as we pull those edges. Cool. There we go. There we go. That's great. Good. Keeping my pen pressure up as I throw in a little bit of the brown back here. I'm not going as hard. Still trying to just section it off half and half. But I don't want to go too hard. Alright, I'm getting somewhere. Definitely getting somewhere. Let's grab yellow. 
So I'm just gonna make a new layer because it'll work like that layer up. I really like what I did there. Pro tip, if you like what you did and you're worried about screwing it up, just make a new layer. Don't even try, don't even give yourself that scare. Just make a new layer and let it all out. Dude, looking fresh. Fresh as fuck. Not too much. No, no. There we go. It's always that tightrope between not enough and way too much. Cool. Yeah. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep pushing that closer and closer, but we're actually gonna keep adding shadows to pull it closer and closer because I want this blade to feel like it's coming towards you. I think I had included the blade going out here. My initial drawing on it. So what we're gonna do let's do this. We're gonna go above our comic line art page. We're gonna go back to our back back to our black line art. We're gonna go Clean Comics is it? I think it's Clean Comics. Yeah. So so put through here. Go a bit wider with this edge. There we go. Now I can kind of see what I'm doing. Ooh, and it's just the blade that's going to keep going. Make it slightly smaller for these interior. <laughs> slightly smaller as I get bigger. Slightly smaller for these interior blade lines. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to allow the gray of that blade to extend through just a little bit more. So let's grab this gray. We'll go back here to our just flat colors of this panel. And we're just going to edge it in with our, paw, our, our vertex lasso. Hold shift to keep it vertical or horizontal. Pow, enter. So we're gonna copy that same color, G. And again, you can see that difference, so I'm just gonna go back to use my brush. No pen pressure and just color that in. There we go. And we'll go back to our black line, we'll go back up here. You can kind of see like, Right in through here, it looks like there's a hard cut. I didn't follow some of these lines through. So we're just gonna follow them through. Easy fix, and that looks fucking rad. <laughs> oh man, thank you guys for sticking it out with me tonight, man. Late night, and I am having fun. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now, we got a lot to do on this panel, so I can kind of pick and choose. Let's go ahead, and I want to do this blade. Whoop, that was an E, not a W. All right, so we're here. Let's go with Control C, Control V. Linking the pa uh, panels again. I'm going to go in with a darker. Right here. But also bleeding across here. And then slightly, or not slightly, slightly, bring this part in. Yeah, that works. I like that. And then for this part, okay, so going back to here, we're actually going to throw in, cool. we're going to throw in harsher. Shadows, especially through here. Um, 
Gun's kind of cool. I'm going to stay with it for a little bit longer. Let's see how it goes for me. And I get to the point where I'm like, eh, fuck this. You know what helps? Having our opacity at 100. Don't be fucking dumb. You know, the only thing is it's not picking up my pen pressure. So let's actually go ahead and go back to our letter brush. Okay, letter brush. Add the opacity. Pen pressure. It's getting red, but that's okay. That's very a-okay. Let's see here. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it's pretty dope, man. Nice. All right, so we'll take this to actually dig out some of these shadows here to give even more three-dimensionality. Not digging super hard, like as opposed to these ones where I'm like fucking grinding it out, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Just slowly. no, no. I'm gonna keep it there. Just gonna keep it a hundred. All right. So now let's go ahead and work on this stuff back here. I want to keep it a little bit less contrasted as up here, especially like through here and this. So this will be a little bit more flat as we get further away. And you can tell with like the uh, frills. I'm just gonna add yellow in, instead of the uh, more white. We're just gonna go yellow. So our max value here is just the yellow. That way this stays way up, oops, up close, sorry. Up, up, oof. There we go. All right, so. Nice, okay, that looks way better to me. We're gonna grab the same orange, go through here, we're gonna pull out our red, blue, gray. Let's just make sure these lines are taut. Regular lasso, we're gonna do a plus. Just making sure everything in my selection works. Oh shit, that's why. Okay, so mine is these guys. Not like that matters a whole lot because it's going to be on the layer underneath those colors anyway. But you just want to be smart about it. Okay, so we got what I need. Control C, Control V. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay in some shadow here. Uh, I don't know exactly how the shadow is going to work just because this is dark, but you get this light up here. So we're hoping that this will go back enough. You know, I think if uh, it's not super, super dark, we'll be okay. And if we keep him lighter, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't have. Okay, so let's go here. Let's lighten it up a lot. That works. So there's not, again, you guys can see there's not much contrast here, which allows us to have the hard contrast here as that blade kind of shoots towards us. So that's the focus of this one. The blade is a major focus. We might do some white flare offs on this afterwards. Let's go back to this, grab our orange. We're gonna go back to just to a solid line, no pen pressure. And add in our yellow through pop, pop, pop in here. So let's go ahead and take our time to edge those in real quick. And I should have connected it to like this stuff, but that's okay. But do you see how this stuff gets this cool texture? 
that's what I love. Th this brush gets the texture and like it's Kyle T. Webster did a great job emulating what a uh, color brush, color watercolor brush would do. It's great. It's very fun. And like, I mean, he's got thousands and thousands of brushes, and each brush does its own badass thing. So, if you can check out his brushes, and like I said, he does it for different. I know he has some for the the, the one on the iPad. Was it Procreate? Maybe. I don't know, the, the app that's on the iPad, I know he has some brushes for too, I believe. I'm like pretty sure he has some for that too. I don't use it, so I don't know, but I, I think I remember saw him, seeing him roll some of those out. But here we go. Add in that yellow. Let's go ahead and do some pen pressure, add in some of this. Cool. Add in a little bit. Yep, that's right. I'm going to paint that. Okay, cool. So let's add some shadow through here to allow this white glove to pop. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Go back to our comic little letter because I want to get more of that, like, uh, watercolor wash going in here, laying down these. Not one, it's definitely not one brush fits all with with this. You're gonna be switching, it's like doom. You're gonna be switching brushes nonstop, just like you switch guns in that game. <laughs> okay, so I do like those edges. Outline these just a little bit, especially on the wrong side, motherfucker. Um, especially on the side, the shadows breaking. Uh, I didn't turn on my pen pressure for this, but that's okay. I actually, don't mind. That's looking fresh anyway. I'll oh, turn it off for the rest, but that's okay. And then again, I'm gonna get my. Uh, Soft pressure, just lay in a little bit here. That way we can lay some in, some highlights in through here. Let's go with the comics letter letterer to do that. Make sure our pen pressure is on. Whenever I switch to a new brush from that one, it always resets. So you get, it's just one of the things you got to make sure you're diligent on, you're paying attention. A lot of these things, it's like you have to pay attention to what the little ticks in your software is doing for your process. But we'll go back to this guy. Pen pressure. Pen pressure. Too much. I'm going to go 75. Pen pressure. Yeah. And then we're just going to lay in some shadows, some hard shadows, where this happens. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go with the just dark pressure up to 100, but we're going to keep our pen, pen pressure going. That's not what I want at all. <laughs> There we go. We'll erase all those for sure, but I just want to go through and lay it all in first. Lay it all oh, on the on the table. You know what I forgot to do? Control this all to his uniform, but that's okay because you can do it afterwards too, really easily. There we go. So that's, I mean, if you look at it, you can notice it. It does make them pop a bit more. We'll keep that detail. Usually the way you know 
if something is working or not is when you scroll out, see the whole page, or even further, so the whole page becomes really smaller, or you can sp still pull out the detail that you just did, and you can see it then. When you're really far away, keep it. But if you're just like in here noodling, and then when you zoom out, like when I zoom out, you can't really see those shadows much. They kind of disappear anyway, so you don't want to waste your time doing that. Spend your time on the things that really matter. But I dig that. I, I am happy with the results. Yeah, dude. I mean, why wouldn't I be happy with all this shit? This is fucking sweet. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to add in some color here, and then we'll go into the cape and add in some highlights. That way we just keep this just fucking sunken in on somebody. All right, so I like, I think it was this orange that I saw before that I really enjoyed. I don't want to mess up that panel, so we'll do this panel, but we will go back to this panel. We're going to go back here. We're going to select his, the blue of his shirt. I'm going to go Shift I. And then, let's see here. I want to say it was 73. It's okay, cool. So 73. We'll just delete. Ooh, that's not it. <laughs> 73. There you go. So if you can see there, it just deleted everything that wasn't inside this blue. So it just kind of cleaned up some of these edges because this layer was only the blue layer. So it worked out well for me. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to this new layer that I created and let's work on this gray. I'm even going to just grab the gray. Try to grab the gray. There we go. Okay. Go back up here. Just throw that mask in just to stay safe. Uh, let's go orange. We're going to go a little bit darker too with that orange. Um, cool. So I got my pen pressure on. Let's go with our comic letter. Help if I turn the fucking pen pressure on again. Alright, so we do gotta get a little bit more of that straight orange. That street orange. I do you like this brown as a base layer? Four. This is it orange. Is it orange? There we go. Do you have enough of the orange? Hey, I don't like that. Uh, but you know what? We're going to lay it in and then we'll just pull back the saturation a little bit. Because this is still giving us some good, good uh, values. It's just a little bit too orange for the gray that's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Now we'll go back to that higher orange, grab a little bit of that, throw it in on some of these edges, put a little bit down here. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's that, and then again, watch, we're just going to drop that saturation, exactly what I needed, bring it a little higher, bring in that saturation, a bit more, that works. What we're probably going to do is we'll finish coloring the blue and then we'll just go in with more and more shadow, like a hard shadow to really delineate where I want these spots to be. And we'll call it good. Uh, oof. I hate moving those colors. I always move the colors accidentally. I try to grab it with my stylus. And it does, my stylus does not like single clicking objects as like selections, you know, if that makes sense. My stylus is like, it likes to grab and hold. I think just because of the art, you know, it's, it's, it's built to do that more. Or I just have a stupid pen. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, how much I paid for it, it could be, but I like this. I like the stylus a lot. Tiny but mighty. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Thing is, uh, the workspace that I have on my on my tablet is a three by five, little note card. 
with this little note card. It helps me make shit like this. So I'm never going to bash it. Okay, yeah. So that works. All right, now. Now let's go ahead and throw some shadows in. Some hard shadows. So we're actually just going to go gray. Multiply. We're going to bring this even higher. Okay, cool. So, actually, you know what? We're gonna, I don't want to move it that high. I'm going to move it that high. Okay, cool. Nope. We are moving it all the way up. Sorry. <laughs> Trust me, it'll work out better for everybody in the end. Can't grab the red because I'm just gonna work on this cape a little bit. So let's grab red. Cha. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. That's a little better. Just trying to give it some more depth while still keeping that sword in the foreground. Grab that soft, really gentle hours. Right, right through there. Right. Hey, 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 let's go solid. Nope, let's go letter actually. There we go. Ooh, <laughs> turn on opacity. It's a little hard on the black, so it's a little harsh on those shadows. That's okay. I think we'll be able to pull it back out. Yeah, we'll totally be able to dig these out. All right. Cool. So we have that. And now we're just going to go multiply. There. That works. Gives me a bit more of that. Punching in, I was looking for, but at the same time, not too heavy. This still stays in our foreground, and that's what I want. But let's go ahead and add some shadows here. I definitely want to add some shadows here. Like I want to pull this arm out. B. Oh, Control Z, Control D. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. See how much more that punches. Again, we'll pull it down here. Grab outside the panel. Then when we go back here, we can just delete. Look at that. Clean again. Holy shit, that looks wicked, though. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. Um, let's figure out what that... I think it's, it seems like it's still going to stay purple, but... Purple is not working overall in the grand scheme of the page for me, but it's a good placeholder for right now. Um, let's go ahead and go a little lighter with it. Again, link to just this purple. Let's go layer. Let's see what lighter yields for us. I think lighter yields a lot of good shit for us. <laughs> That's how I feel. Look at that. That is sweet. Let's see if we can do some gradient here. We want that. Nah, let's just go full. Okay, so now I'm actually going to grab a lot lighter. Need a lot lighter in. So I love where that's going. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we're actually, we're going to call that good. We're going to see if changing the color of this works. But I do like the tone values, maybe. To tones? I don't know. I don't know. Hard enough to know my vocabulary. Hmm. Ooh. Kind of like the green. Kind of really like the green. Let's stay with that for now, and it also kind of brings in that green back into here. So it's a uh, ooh, 
It'll be really interesting to see. I can flux with it. Let's go ahead and add in the uh, this material here. I think we can call it good for these four pages in a Pages. I wish I did four pages in a day. Four panels. <laughs> Sorry about that flub. Hey, we're just gonna merge these. Right? It's just to keep my uh, file size a little bit low. And again, I, I I don't do this until I'm completely sure that it is what I want. <laughs> Just kind of playing around, seeing what I like. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's it, so it lightens up the blue a little bit and deepens in the red a little bit, but it works for what we're trying to do. So we'll keep it. Yeah, man. Well, I still need to throw that in. So it's a kind of. And let's go ahead and turn those gray lines into the orange ones. Not gray lines, black lines. So normal image adjustments. Threshold. Threshold just simplifies, cleans up your lines for you, makes it all nice and digitally pretty. Again, we got that weird thing that it's like 80% opacity. I just fill with black once I've got my uh, pixels locked. There we go. And then once I have my pixels locked, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to take that guy off. Go here. Yeah. Now let's go here. Yeah. That works well. I don't think I'm going to change much more. Like this, he's so close. Like he's piercing through the fucking panel. He's that close. So I'm cool keeping those black lines black. You know, really forces him out. Yeah. All right, let's. So I got it above the line art. Got this new layer. We'll start with the red. Make sure we got our soft round. Pen pressure is on. We go here with the red. Here with yellow, orange, and then here with yellow. Ah, all right. Overall glow. Nope. We'll do the overall glow in the next panel. Let's see what we can do with this one. A lot of this is just playing around. Totally Let's see what we can do with these ones. Uh oh. Uh oh, you see the line works changing? I did that on a line work. Oh no. Thought I made a new panel. Let's do this. Sorry. Change it. Again, there's a million and one ways to do things. So we're just going to grab the lasso. We're going to cut this part out. Feeler cut. Okay, cool. So now we can start fucking with it. I'm going to go back to normal again. But uh, let's go ahead and add another layer. We're going to go with that yellow glow and see what we can change the yellow glow to. Bring that down a bit. Affects the flare. All right, let's see what we can do with this. I like this one. I'll bring it back. Nah, that's good. Oh, 54. I don't want 54. I want 100. All right, so we're gonna call that good for right now. Um, again, as we as as I finish this page, I'll kind of adjust these around a bit, like specifically looking at these parts and then that purple background. But I love how that adjustment looked. Those lines have never looked better, honestly, in a Art Warrior panel. So I'm super happy with that. 
Um, tomorrow I will probably continue doing this. We'll probably paint out this part. If not, we will be uh, working on the 3D bird beak, but either way, I'll stream it. And we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I cannot wait to color the rest of this uh, comic. And yeah, you guys have a good rest of your night. I'm going to boogie woogie, but yeah, have a good night. Bye.